often is not canceling out the other. It's continuing the spiral in the same direction, which doesn't have those two things end up exactly opposite. Mm. So another place it ends up, you ready for this? Yeah. We'll put this over here. When we're doing our triangular prisms, okay, in this structure and this one, you're saying, wait, there's no spiral there. There isn't, but there's a chirality. These triangular prisms, in as much as they involve one corner overlapping another, so this is, for instance, left side over right, left over right, left over right. Every one of these has to be that way, left over right, left over right, for this structure to work. Interesting. So if I want to call left over right, I could call that as going away from me. It's kind of corkscrewing to the right. So every one of these triangular prisms is right-handed. And that's what makes this work. If I put a left-handed one in there, no go. I can kind of show that with these two. These two right here, they look identical. At first glance, you think the same thing. But real look really carefully. They're mirror images that are not going to be superimposable. And I don't care about flipping this one over. It doesn't matter. These are still non-superimposable mirror images. They're chiral. If I try to put this in this structure, no go. But, you ready for this? I'm ready. My hexagonal hex tube depends on using some left and some right.